Good morning. I've been pedaling for five hours, covered 85 kilometers. It was a good move. Staying one more night in Palo Alto at Chuck's house. I tried to get some work done, but there was some distraction. And then I got up super early. I was on the road before six. Really quiet, beautiful streets with wide bike lanes all the way through Palo Alto and Mountain View and Sunnyvale all the way down to San Jose. And then slowly started leaving urban land behind, leaving the Bay Area in my wake. And uh, now 85 kilometers covered in a little place called Gilroy in the car park for the Salvation Army. And there's no grass around really. So I've just kind of parked up in this car park and it's gonna be 37 degrees in an hour. It'll start getting cooler. And by cooler, I mean down to 31 by 6 p.m. So I think I'm just gonna sleep on the concrete here just for a couple of hours. I'm knackered. I honestly could sleep anyway. It's a great feeling to get going. I'm a lot more balanced on the bike now after an initial accidental stationary topple in the middle of an intersection. It didn't do my nerves any good. Nothing's hurt apart from my pride. But now I've kind of got the hang of stopping and starting, whizzing through the streets with lots of traffic lights to deal with. It's pretty helpful for that. But now just out in the valley. Oh, I guess I've started. <laughs> Two of the great compromises of long distance bicycle journeys, busy roads, punctures. Oh, and there's a third one. Just small to no shoulder. Covered in glass and stuff. I almost got to the end of my first day. Considering I traveled over six and a half thousand miles on bikes before getting my first ever puncture. <laughs> I hope this isn't a sign of what's to come. It's also 36 degrees and I'm melting. I'm just melting. Well, I'm having a little bit of a nightmare. 10 punctures in the last six or seven miles. This is the only road across the hills into the central valley of California. And I had no idea it would be so busy and the shoulder's really narrow. So I've been pushed onto the shoulder countless times. And quite often it's all overgrown as well. So many punctures. I'm almost out of all my patch kits already. <laughs> oh no! Something will come good. It's got to, it's got to. Oh. If I hadn't ridden 97 kilometers today, I'd probably be a bit more frustrated, but I have, so at least I've done my miles. I might not do them tomorrow <laughs> if I get another puncture. <laughs> oh no. The most annoying thing was I was gonna get my dinner in here. All of these vegetables and nuts, super cheap. And because I spent half an hour doing my puncture, they just close the shutters. <laughs> They've just turned two drivers away. I can't imagine they're gonna have pity on me. This might better not get any worse. First traffic stop. You you just uh, to tell me that. The shoulder gets narrower up there. Luckily, I'm three quarters of a mile from tonight's base camp. And then I'll get up really early and hope that the traffic doesn't as well. This isn't fun at all. Okay, let's go home. Only in America could you have a bunch of decades old pickups just lining up, nose to tail, on display. And then 50 meters away, the Tesla charging station. Best of both worlds, isn't it? There are hundreds of people at this place. Until you go down the road a little bit. And I think I'm gonna camp right over there, just over the model railway and next to the house where peacocks live. <laughs> what is this place? <laughs> I'm tired, oh, I can't wait to go to sleep. Just gonna wait for the sun to go down, the light to disappear and then, oh no, I'm not. Because Suzanne, Mel and Tanya, my friends from the Facebook Community Leadership Programme, are driving up to find me. <laughs> Look who turned up. <laughs>
Hello. We bought puncture pear kit, beef jerky, yes. and, and a water, and a tin of tuna, and, <laughs> and hugs. The and three hugs. musketeers. <laughs> you guys are legends. They've just driven like three hours out of their way to come and say hi and bring me some puncture stuff. I love you. I love Miss you. you. You're amazing. Miss you. Tomorrow I'm here. I'm here. I'm right here. <laughs> Miss you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what friends are for. Uh...